All right, I'm on hole number five of the Great Outdoors Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Rookie Division. Let's go to hole number five. All right, my goal was to pick up a shot in the first five, and I haven't done it, so I've got, I'm down to where I have to pick this up. It's an extra mile. This tournament is brought to you by Titan, the king of balls. Take a number one bag on all my backspin stuff. I was backspinning it down the hill, and then I tried to finesse it in through the front, but I think I'm going to go, I'm going to use more backspin, and I'm going to utilize what I brought these clubs for, and I'm going to go right, literally right at it with max, max right-hand side spin, and however much backspin I can get on it, and go right at the hole. And I mean, I definitely want that, want that bounce all around it because I'm ending up short actually where it's stopping too quick no more than two and a half three eight I'll take that out it's a little shy of two rings I'm gonna do it right out about a two ring pull put just a little teeny bit of curl on it Hitting it perfect. The more to the left I can end up on the other end over here, you take the risk of clipping the rough there. The more I can get up into this area, the straighter the fairway is coming in. And the more I can, I don't have, the right hand side spin will become more effective where I can straighten the ball out. Now I'm really thinking that the way the wind is blowing, that if you hit it out into this area, this is going to be a great shot. But I would rather do the bounce off over from here and bounce it over this fairway and bring it all the way up to the front than to do the bounce in the middle. It's too, there's too much stuff going on and there's too much elevation change on this little ramp that I don't really want to... You hit further up on it, it does one thing. You hit further down on it, it does another you hit on the edge of it and it throws you off to the side. I'm not interested in uh, messing around that ramp. And I think on the back nine, I may actually go at it from up here and see what it looks like unless I can make this shot. I am going to go right at it. I want those bounces in the hole. So 3.7, it's 1.9, so that's 3.8 is a two ring pull. So I'm going to do a two ring pull. And I just need to hit perfect. Hit it great to the left. And of the two ways to hit it great, great to the left is an absolute... <laughs> Great. So any of them would have been a little short right there. So I need to make sure I put that bounce when I get up there close. I need to put that last little bounce right at the hole. In the hole. In the cup. I was thinking that when it hit that at that spot, the backspin would start to engage and it would take a really short bounce. And that really short bounce would go right in the hole. But it was still moving in a forward direction right there, so... I either need to move back just a little, which is probably the wise thing to do. But not much. Let's see if my opponent can get out of trouble. Very nice. I'll be able to pick that up. They still have some work to do, though. Oh. That's the thing about the first five holes, if you've watched up to this point, I've given myself opportunities on all five of them. And I don't normally, I don't get too upset about, I mean, the, what's important to me is that I gave myself the look. 
the whole deal is is that you're not going to make all of them what you're hoping for is that on the weekend round is when you're in that you've peaked so all week long I've been practicing I'm even practicing today while I'm doing this I'm gonna change up what I'm doing on one of the holes I'm changing some of the numbers and when I come into the weekend round I am real confident with where my notes are at so like I know if I if I just go out there and play and I play these notes then I'm gonna give myself a soup good look at every one of those holes and some days you're on where you're hitting everything perfect and everything's going good and you you've got really good notes you can stamp out a really killer round and so I'm not really that concerned I just want good tiebreakers going into the weekend round so usually like if I can shoot the minimum score but I'm still learning something on all these holes that's the important part the weekend round is the only round that counts. You can be the first. I don't know how many times I've been the first in my qualifying round and the first in my opening round and then ended up not being first in the weekend round. So they don't give any points for being first in the opening round. All right, that was hole number five of the Great Outdoors Tournament. Thanks for watching.